So electrical engineering and electrical engineering technology have more in common than you think. Although there are big differences and you should be careful of these big differences. In this video, I'll tell you about these differences and help you decide which one is better for you. And I'll tell you why I chose electrical engineering over electrical engineering technology. And there's two things I want to tackle here. One is the skill set, and two is the societal perception or like career path or like, I don't know, ease of getting hired in the job that you want. You may already know that electrical engineering involves more math and physics and theoretical conceptual design where electrical engineering technology is more hands-on is about implementing and maintaining those electrical systems. From a skill set perspective, I would say only go the electrical engineering technology route. If you're absolutely not interested at all in math and physics, and you're not curious at all about the theory of why electronic and electrical systems behave the way that they do. Now for an electrical engineering degree, you don't have to absolutely be in love with math and physics or with the theory, but you should be at least curious about why things behave the way that they do. Because this curiosity is the secret ingredient to design and research development, which are things that you only can really do with that electrical engineering degree. So if you're curious about why things behave the way that they do, especially like on electronic and electromagnetic systems, I would say definitely go for the electrical engineering degree and then go do some hands-on projects on the side. And that way you get both. You get theoretical knowledge and the hands-on knowledge. And this is actually what I did. Because the reality is that with the electrical engineering technology degree, you're not really going to develop the deep understanding of Maxwell equations or understand why things behave the way that they do. Now that takes care of the skill set. What about the career path slash job you're going to get slash how you're going to be looked at? Like, will you be equally responsible? Respected as an electrical engineering technologist rather than just an electrical engineer. And there's two ways to answer that. Me personally, I don't care at all. I only look at people's skills. I don't really care like what letters they have after their name or what degree they have. I really don't like labels. And just because you tell me you did a technology degree rather than electrical engineering degree, that does not signal to me, oh, this guy is dumb or can't do math. But rather it tells me, oh, this guy is probably self-aware and realized that they don't like math and physics and they still like technology. So they chose to do something that's a bit more hands-on. And I totally respect that. However, from a general societal perspective, I know that society as a whole cares about labels more than I do. I mean, I don't know, because I've never experienced that myself. My guess, my gut feeling tells me that there are people out there that who are probably not ill-intentioned, they're just conditioned to think that way, that may look down on that degree and may think, oh, you're not a real engineer. Or like, oh, you're not, you've not done the theory. So you're only as good as a technician. You're not a real problem solver. And for that, it's very important for you to understand what you like and what you want and, and to think critically for yourself, because you can't let other people or societal uh, perception dictate whether you go for something or not. If you are absolutely only interested in the hands-on uh, stuff, you don't care about the math and physics at all, you don't care about the theory, it does not excite you, you're not curious about why electric fields when changing induce magnetic fields. Like if that sounds horrifying to you, but you still like to grab the technology and, and take it apart and fix it and build things and implement things and systems, then who cares whether like someone thinks, oh, you're not a real engineer. Well, like that's, that's, their, own, that's their own problem, not yours. And again, this is kind of a mantra I have on this channel is just be so good that they can't ignore you. Just be really good at what you do that you don't really run into these people. And if you do, you don't even care because you have opportunities and you have a career path set for you. And generally speaking, anybody who is conscious and has deep understanding of the importance of skill set rather than degree or label will not really give you that kind of issue. However, the reality is that if you want more value for your buck, and if you really want to be hardcore in electrical engineering, you would probably do the electrical engineering degree, go through the theory, go through the calculus, physics, one, two, three courses, and do the hands-on stuff on the side. That would make you like a more complete electrical engineer but again that's just me that's my personal belief and that's what i chose to do and that's one guy so you should do some thinking on your own decide what's best for you i will also leave a note that if you're not sure about what to do you probably should not limit yourself to one area over the other because who knows maybe a few years down the line you'll be a lot more interested in research and innovation and you probably want to keep your doors open so you might go for the thing that's harder initially but keeps your options open but again that's just how, the way i think about things so i personally am curious about the theory and this is exactly why i chose to study electrical engineering. In fact, there are 17 reasons that I was able to come up with on why I chose electrical engineering and why you should probably choose electrical engineering. And I made a video about it, so you should watch it over here. 